morning, YouTube viewers and subscribers. Yes, I'm doing something quite different today. This is my Phoenix Models Decathlon that I got from Tower Hobbies probably eight or nine months ago. I assembled it about eight or nine months ago, but it's never flown. I end up not completing it and not flying it yet. Uh, now that I'm back into flying again, I figured it's 95% ready to go. Why not? You know, finish it up and get it in the air. I've got an Inya 80 four-stroke engine installed on here. I just spent the last several hours yesterday and this morning redoing the throttle installation and testing out the uh, radio system. Now I'm set to test the fuel system, plumbing, and engine on the plane to see how that's going to work. I've got a T valve or a T fitting in here, so one T goes to my carb. One is just for filling, and one goes to the carb, one's for filling, and one goes to the tank. So anyway, I don't know that I'm going to have to replace the fuel tank, and I don't know for sure that this setup is going to work. I don't typically like in-cowl installations, nor sideways, or inverted installations, but for this plane, I really didn't have much choice. I don't plan on flying it like this. Obviously, it's got a cowling on it, but I want to test these things out first. Um, so anyway, that's what this video is about.
Okay, well, that was quite successful. Uh, I can't really see how much tank, uh, how much fuel I put in my tank, uh, nor can I tell how much I just used. But as you saw, it started with one flip. Not a problem. Uh, priming it, I tried initially to prime it through the exhaust port, and uh, with the throttle open through the exhaust port, it didn't draw. So I actually had to use the choke, which. I really don't want to have to try to rely on because I'll have to drill another hole in my cowling just for this. And it doesn't really seem like, I don't recall, I'll have to look at the video, I don't know if I'd just use this or if I put my finger on this to actually make a good seal. So I'll have to check the video, I don't recall what I did. Um, but if not, I'll have to tighten this up uh, to get it to choke. The only other thing I can do to choke it is I have this tube here the vent line to the tank because I'm not running vent pressure as you can see not running vent pressure I don't have an exhaust with a muffler so I'm not running vent pressure so this vent line on the tank I can just blow through that to uh, prime it also in fact when I just shut it down for whatever reason, I don't know if the, if the system was under vacuum or what, it couldn't be because this is open, but I still had fuel in this line here like it was still in the carb. So I was just sucking on this just to draw the fuel out of the line. Um, obviously these kinds of things are not going to be really possible to do when I've got the cowling on it, so that's why I don't really like cowled installations too often. but. Uh, that's the whole purpose of testing this stuff, is so that I can get this ready to go to the field and not have to spend time at the field troubleshooting and crap like that. I typically like to go to the field with all my stuff ready to go and airworthy and just fly. I don't like to spend time doing this kind of troubleshooting at the field. Enough said. Now, you might notice I moved the plane a little bit. I went and I put my fish scale on this thing. This plane, just as it is, dry, no fuel in it, no cowling or spinner, weighed six and a half pounds. Now, you add the cowling on there, which weighs next to nothing, the spinner, which weighs next to nothing, and a little bit of fuel. It'll be a hair over six and a half pounds flying weight. Now, when I put my scale on there, I wanted to see what the static thrust was. And that's kind of why I've got this on the pavement here. And the static thrust I was measuring at full throttle was 5 pounds. So I don't have quite a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio, which isn't expected. But I've got plenty of power to actually fly this plane quite nicely. Now it won't go vertical out of sight, but it'll fly nice. So uh, looks like my system check was a success. Next thing I'm going to do now is uh, put the cowling on here and uh, run it one more time. Make sure it's all good to go. And then... Uh, Hopefully by a couple weekends, take it out to the field. So, thank you for watching.